Question number 12. Diagram 9 shows 6 letter, six letter cards used in a binomial experiment. A card will be chosen at uh, randomly in each binomial... Uh, sorry, not binomial. Here it says... Oh yeah, okay, okay. Bernoulli uh, trial. The card is then replaced. Okay, if there are 120 trials... Okay, so 120 trials means what? Because this is a binomial, right? So n equals to 120. Uh, find the expected value. Expected value is the mean of the consonant letters. Consonant letters. So how many consonant letters here? 1, 2, 3, 4. You've got 4 consonant letters here. So uh, if we are doing binomial, we need what? N, P, and PQ, right? But now we are looking for finding the expected value, the mean. So the formula is N times P, right? So we need to find the P. So P is... Uh, this one is consonant letter, right? We're talking about consonant. So it's four let four cards here. One, two, three, four, out of out of six cards. So the probability will be four over six. Four over six, or it becomes two over three. Okay. So n times p. So it's hundred and twenty times two over three. So you get forty times two is eighty. So that's the mean. Uh, expected value okay question b if there are five trials so now the n is five a okay, n is five uh, find the probability that the number of consonant letters chosen is more than the number of vowels so more so you got five trials right you got five trials so if consonant is more than vowels means out of the five at least three is uh, what is consonant, right? So that means, uh, okay, wait. So we're looking for x, what? It can either be, the consonant can be either three times, okay, three times consonant, two times uh, uh, vowel, okay? So this is more than, or it can be four, one, okay? Or it can be five, uh, zero. Yeah, five zeros again. Okay, so these are the three possibilities, I mean, that means we are looking for this like 3, 4, and 5. So that means we are looking for the probability of x more than or equal to 3. So that means p can be the probability can be x equals to 3, the probability can be x equals to 4, and the probability can be x equals to 5. Okay, so these are the three uh, probability we have to count. So when probability is 3, okay, wait, before that, the P we already got, right? 2 over 3, and Q will be 1 over 3, okay? Just take 1 minus P. 1 minus 2 over 3, you get 1 over 3. So, how to find the binomial? Okay, let me go down. So, N, N, C, R, right? So, N, C, N is 5, so 5, C, this one is 3, and then P value is 2 over 3. So the p value is always using the 3 here. So 3, power 3, and then 1 over 3 times 5 minus 3, you give you get 2. So this one is 2. Okay, then you do 4. The same one, 5c4 this time. 2 over 3, power 4, and then 1 over 3, power 1. Okay, then you do 4. x equals to 5. So 5c5, 2 over 3, power 5 and 1 over 3 power 0 okay so you just have to calculate this okay key in your into your calculator your final answer will be uh, 64 over 81 or you can write in decimal that will be 0 0.7901